Hello and welcome back to this Trails of Cold Steel Let's Play with me, SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we really struggled. We struggled a lot to beat Nosferatu in the Old Longrun Castle as we got some aid from a mysterious Steel Maiden in the sides of the castle, harking back to the possible Steel Maiden herself. But in today's episode, we're heading to Gorelia Fortress, but we've got some stuff to do first. If you've been enjoying this little series, uh, Please like, please subscribe. It would mean a lot. Uh, I'm going to be here making these uploads either way, but, you know, it's always nice to see some numbers go up every game, just for the little serotonin buttons in my brain. But we have some stuff to do first. We have a recipe, I believe, to grab. Please set this book with your journey. Apparently it's an interesting read. So we get Red Moose Chapter 11, which is always good. I'm Leave it to me. I'm yes, sir! Yeah! I'm excited. Not excited. I'm interested in the fact that we are losing... Uh, leaving Legram. Legram is a very, very nice place, it must be said. Probably one of my favourite designs of the series. Reminds me of like an old school Final Fantasy town as well, which we'll always take. Apparently, if we speak to these guys. Hey, Laura. We're going to get some f f delicious, delicious food. They're all very much saying that we can't. Need to wind them up in order to can't do anything else to us for sure, but that's fine. Then I think without further ado, Go. we just have it's to make turn. our way. My turn. Okay. I've got this. To Legram Station. And make our way over to the lovely. We still have a little time before the next trainings, which we do. We're certainly we're gonna wait in station. Usus really doesn't like uh Milliam. But there we go. So let's head in. Are we going to be able to uh, play some Blade on the way? That is the question. As there is Celine. The talking cat. We still haven't learned that much more of Emma. But we've, she did say she's kind of the opposite of a church person. So does that make her... I don't know. An animist. Does that make her some sort of heathen devil worshipper? Is she going to be the one that betrays us as, as it usually is in these games? That there is someone who is going to do the dirty on us at some point down the line. It may be. It may be. I'm buckling up for a bumper load of recording today because I'm going to Italy in six days. So I need to make sure that I'm all packed up and ready to go for that. Make sure there's some stuff coming on the channel. Anyway, I can see a castle for a second there. It's gone. Well, the forest is quite dense. We still saw a lot of weird things in that cast. It's one thing after another from the moment we walked through the door. What are you looking at me for? Never mind. It's pretty great. Did you guys have fun on all these field studies? She was sure it was a little longer. Those two days went by so quickly. They certainly did. The field study isn't over. We're on our way to our next location, so don't relax yet. It looks like I must say farewell to Legram once again for the time being. I wasn't expecting to, but I can't help but feel a little bit homesick today already. You can understand why. It's a really welcoming place. I didn't even get the sense the social classes were keeping people apart. True. Seems like a place where nobles could learn much from. It did seem like a nice place, so far anyway. It'd be great to bring Fee and the others. I'll continue to learn between now and then when I next return. I'm sure you will. That castle is interesting to me though. Oh, of course we saw all the stuff there. For the ground we changed chains to Berehard, and ride Chris and Mine North heading to Seldic. Just doing all of the train rides. So, up to Berea Hard. Gorelia Fortress is on the uh, border of a crossbell, I believe. We're going to go past the Grand Granary. Alright, let's go over our schedule. We're en route to Celtic, where we'll rendezvous with Group B. From there, we'll take the Transcanal Railroad to Gorelia Fortress on the Empire's eastern border. It was one of the Imperial Army's largest strongholds, something referred to as the wall that protects the nation from the threat of the Catholic Republic. Her is ludicrously gigantic, almost an icon of military excess. Houses two railway guns that a military exercise on has a military exercise ground on the premises. Gwyn said he regretted constructing them. They are two massive orbital cannons pointed to the east end of Calvert. More specifically, they're aimed at the buffer zone between them across our state. They are pretty crazy. It's like looking at a mountain of iron. 
Pretty sure it overwhelmed when I first saw them. I do believe that I saw them get crushed by one of the um, mechas in Crossbell, but I'm sure we'll see that. Sorry if there's spoilers here. There is going to be some spoilers for the other games because I've been playing through them in ring, so I'm just going to talk about them all the way through. You've actually seen the Rare World Guns in person? Yes, Graham Sinclair, Lecter, and me went to see them this one time. The mightiest weapon since the Grand Collapse, so when you consider what it means to have such weapon placed here. He certainly does have a flair for the dramatic. It's the day that the Chancellor is scheduled to part of Crossbow with Prince Oliver. I think that's where Lecter's going. I want to go to Crossbell. It's supposed to be a really famous theatre group there. And they have a huge theme park. They certainly do. Michelle, Michelle Elm. Anyway, you probably know more about it than I do. Apparently Princess President Toe is going as part of her entourage to further her studies. She's getting job offers from a bunch of companies ready to hire her directly after graduation. She does do... She does... Uh, deserve that credit. I heard that Tower's like a fan favourite of all the trails of them. I mean, I have my favourites, but eh. I suppose we haven't really got much. Maybe she comes a bit more to the floor in the uh, next three games. So we shall see. Here we are in Seldic. Sorry, my dogs are deciding to uh, do some wrestling. So you might be able to hear them right now. All Patch is departing for Seldic. Do not approach the rope barriers on platform one. Dash is supposed to travel to Cranscon and the railway. Please wait on platform two. And that, I believe, is us. What we're going for here. Sorry, my Alfred's apparently just messed himself up a little bit. Having a bit too much rough housing. Sorry if you got that. This microphone doesn't catch as much as the last one, so you should be fairly okay. What's going on here? It feels kind of ominous. The RMP is guarding the opposite platform. I wonder if... <laughs> well, isn't this quite the coincidence? It's gonna be Claire. Captain Claire! <laughs> it's Claire! Did you come to see me? Just a coincidence, I'm afraid. Eisengraf will be passing through here soon, so this station's operating under heightened security. Oh, right! Still, I'm happy to see you again. It's been what? Two months since I last saw you? Interesting. <laughs> Are they related? It feels like they could be. Truly really is attached to Captain Claire. Almost like sisters, that's what I'm saying. Hard to believe both of them are iron bloods. <laughs> At any rate, good day. Let me thank you again for your help during the recent crisis in Heimdallar. Don't worry about it. We simply did our duty as citizens of the Empire. More importantly, what's the meaning of all this extra security? What's this Isengraf you mentioned? Is it going to be like some armament tanked? The Iron Count, right? It's going to be a train. You see what I mean soon enough? High speed so the travels apart from revised six size caution. This is going to be like some battle tank. Babies. Sorry, the dogs are being very annoying. It couldn't be. Right on time. It's going to be some like fuck off massive armored tank. They do seem to love trains in, in Zimoria. There's Toa. Of course. There's Toa. There's Princess Oliver. Where's the Bloodline Chancellor? There he is. And a scar hits. There's something going on with Osborne. And Reen. I think we kind of knew that already though, but it's fine. <laughs> Some guy got mad and spoiled it for me on one of the comments, but I deleted it. But it's fine. Anyway, Reen. So, what was, so that was the Isengraf. Come to think of it, I've heard rumors of a first through Crimson Train. It's probably reserved for use by the Imperials of the Imperial Government. I mean, on a bit for it's really fast. It's pretty fancy inside, too. Isengraf of the Iron Count in the Common Palace was titled in honor of Chancellor Osborne himself. Indeed. Well, I do hear him call the Blood Nine Chancellor this time, so I can understand the Iron part. But isn't the Chancellor a commoner by birth? He is indeed. However, he was granted the title of Count by His Majesty when he was made Chancellor 11 years ago. Supposedly, that's what led to the train being given its name shortly after. I see. 
I doubt he of all people sees any worth in titles of peerage. Reen? Yeah? Is something bothering you? Your attention seems elsewhere. Still feeling tired after yesterday? Not really. Um, I just happened to catch a glance of Tower and Princess Oliver on the train as it passed by. I'm surprised you could even make them out. You must have a hawk's eye just to be able to see them when the Ironscraft pushed by so quickly. That's probably just a coincidence. It's more than just a glance, though. I could see them clearly in detail. What was that just now? Hmm? Well, as long as you're not feeling unwell. What does she know, Emma? Stop keeping secrets from us. You know some shit. Transcontinental service bound for Crossbell Stage, now arriving at Platform 2. And that is certainly is us. Here it comes. But we're not, of course, going to Crossbell State. We're simply going to a place near the Crossbell State. To Gorelia Fortress. But, are the others going to be on this already? My guess is they are. Are you getting out to just get back in again? Hey there. Green over here. We haven't got all day. We saved you some seats. Here's Crow and his Toa. Whoa, who's that classy looking babe? Should have just stayed in the train. So, off on our way to Gorelia, which of course in the prologue is where we were. So I'm guessing we're gonna kind of see the start of that and have what transpired. Do we trust Claire? I don't think we do. Do we trust any Ironbloods? I don't think we do. We've received word from Squad 08. No unusual movements have been detected near the Twin Dragons Bridge. We've also received word from Squad 21. Report all high-speed armored cars are in position. Understood. Remain vigilant until the isograph is finished passing through. Once it reaches Crossbell City, all squads switch to Phase D. Yes, ma'am. Are you the Imperial Liberation Front? Are you sure they'll show themselves? We're certain. Interesting. Trails of cold steel. Nice. So, on our way to Gorelia. A lot of story, a lot of imposition to be found. As we can see, Seldic there. Spend all our time on trains. And, like I asked, did you save us some seats? There's so many seats free. But, I see it sounds like Group A had quite the eventful couple of days. I thought it was kind of hard to believe you should have seen a ghost of Leanne Sandalot. It's ridiculous. Are you worth saying they weren't just hallucinating or something? You think whatever you like. You totally saw her, I swear. Well, ghost or not, there was definitely someone there besides us. That's enough about ghosts or spirits for the time being. I'm more concerned about the fairs of the living, like where Toval and the Radiant Blade Master went. Sounds like Jukayan is up to something too. And he's not s someone we can afford to take lightly. We didn't invite anything into the studio. We didn't run into anything in the Jurai Special Economic Zone. I guess that makes sense, seeing as they were under direct control of the Imperial Government and not a noble. I seem to recall that it was annexed dead years ago. Is all that right? Yeah, Empire stitched it on nice and neat, without much opposition. It's prospering as a special economic zone on the coast. Seems a pretty lively place. And the revenue generated from taxes there goes directly into the Imperial Government coffers. So the pockets of the nobility. It's hardly a mystery why the reformists think so highly of it. That aside, a little concerned about the upcoming trade conference in Crossbell. Same goes to the Imperial Liberation Front. They've been awfully quiet since they sh did that show they put on last month. Now that you mention it. It does seem rather suspicious. Is it related somehow to why we're going to Corellia Fortress? Well, it's not the main reason, but it's not entirely unrelated. I'll let you look forward to finding out all about it when we get to the fortress itself. How many of you have passed through Grelia Fortress by train before? Of course, Millium has. I see. Just us, huh? I can't wait to see everyone's first reactions. True. <laughs> Why's that? Well, I've seen it in photographs, just at least. The camera can't really capture how ridiculous it is. It's supposed to be this macho gateway to the Empire, but it seems like it's trying way too hard. What's that supposed to mean? 
Okay, it's the Empire, one of the largest military bases in the country. Look forward to the chance to see it in person, then. It's gonna be fucking redonkulous, is what I think they're gathering. Which is all good with us. My dogs have stopped fighting and now come up to me for attention. Which is always a sign of something going wrong. But here we are in Skorelia Fortress. The train covering Class 7 continues its ride to the Transcontinental Line, heading towards east. They pass through the Twin Dragons Bridge, a provincial province army base, and several stations later, it's finally time they pass through Grella Fortress, which loomed large on the border of a crossbell state. 11.20 The Minister of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for his patronage. Next stop, Gorelia Fortress. The train will stop five minutes. Please be your only authorized person who may disembark. Be advised, all law photography is strictly prohibited in, within the fortress and is punishable by imperial law. Any attempt at unauthorized recording may result in the confiscation of your equipment or detention by authorities. Of course. Well, that was kind of... It sounded pretty severe for a train announcement. Yeah, I don't think it's unreasonable. Do you think that that's the issue here? Not sure having to be one of the first things foreign visitors here gives a very good impression of the country. We're finally here. What in Adios's name is that? Okay, let's see how fucking gigantic and crazy this shit is. It's like an emerald city. Eastern border, Gorelia Fortress. Pretty fucking impressive, to be honest. Whoa. The scale is just... This is... The fortress? The entire place is built from iron and concrete? How much money was dumped into building this? Yep, this is about as entertaining as I'd hoped. I'm not surprised. I thought the same thing when I first saw it. The crossbell side, all you can see is a cliff, though. Yeah, those two railway can still poke out out through it. Instructor, what did you bring us out here to show us? What else? The guns. We're here so you can see the true essence of what makes up an army. What comprises the military strength and forms its foundation. What the other place in the Empire has that done display as clearly as here. It's very true. Getting final dungeon vibes. Even though I'm guessing this isn't the actual final dungeon. Because I'm guessing it was a final chapter. Not thing, but it looks like a big Emerald City. Gives me Final Fantasy 11 vibes a little bit. Trails of Cold Steel. Not 11, 12, sorry. Of course, you've got to have the unicorn on the front of your train. Of course you do. Gorelia Fortress Platform. Who are they? Engineers, tradesmen. Mostly you'll see a lot of them around here. Keeping a fortress this size up and running is a full-time job for more than just the military people. It's almost like its own town. It certainly is. It's probably bigger than most of the towns I've seen. On the other side of the fortress, it's more or less a straight shot to Crossbell, right? I think a bustling center of trade is so close to this massive material facility like this. Crossbell is only 30 minutes away by train. From the top of the fortress, you can see the skyscrapers where the trade conference is going to take place. I see you've arrived. Who is this? Ah, Nightheart. Oh. Instructor Nightheart! Good morning, Instru uh, Major Nightheart. Instructor Valestine of Thor's Military Academy, homeroom teacher for Class 7. Reporting the arrival of myself and all students in my care. Interesting. Acknowledging your arrival at 11.30 hours. Welcome to Gorelia Fortress. In addition to my teaching duties at the Academy, I hold the rank of Major in the Imperial Army's 4th Armored Division. I'll be acting as your guide, 
as well as your instructor for special lectures during your time here at the fortress. Interesting. Now, if you'll follow me. I feel like I say that word way too much, but it is interesting. Nightheart, we already know a little bit about, obviously, with him being an instructor. Well, goddamn. All the boys in one room, all the girls in one room. What's he gonna say? Including today, you have two days remaining of this field, month's field study. We won't be assigning you any tasks during that time. You'll be tasked today participating in a series of special lectures and a field trip. A field trip here? What exactly does that entail, instructor? At two hours, at 1400 hours today, a joint military exercise will be taking place at Grelia's Proving Ground. Fourth and fifth armor divisions will both be participating, and you will be observing it. Interesting. And what are we gonna do? Fourth armor division is led by none other than Elliot's dad, Lieutenant General Olaf Craig. By all accounts, he's one of the strongest armored divisions in the Imperial Army. And you know that our friend, the Major here, is the most promising young member. It's true. Moving on. As I said, you'll be observing this exercise, not participating. Imagine some of you have the feeling rather relieved, doesn't it? To sound like a pretty easy assignment after all. We'll see how many of you feel the same after experiencing it for yourselves. It's all from me. Currently at 11.50 hours, lunch has been prepared for you in the mess hall. I advise you to eat. Your field trip isn't something to be undertaken on any stomach. Interesting. So this is food. We have salty corned beef and I think I'm getting a hit of peas from this soup. Could use this bread as a lethal projectile. <laughs> I do think it wouldn't hurt to use a few more herbs, or flavors in general. Call this edible would be generous. I've heard plenty of rumors of the food they serve in the Imperial Army, but I wouldn't have guessed it'd all be true. Didn't think the food they served in the mess hall at Xena Gate was all that bad though. Don't think it would kill them, just have a little something more appetizing. It's the exact same as they served when I came here with my class last year. Probably from the same batch too, by the looks of it. Oh, Randy brings back the memories. I was surprised the first time my dad brought me he here to eat too. You guys really think it is? You think it's that bad? It brings back memories for me too. He says cheese and an apple, indeed. <laughs> food served in the army makes use of common ingredients that are easily preserved and stored. The ingredients used to make up all the food can easily be stockpiled in large quantities. Even if it were to break out, a meal like this could be served without any trouble. It's very true. Army serves simple foods all the time to avoid a decrease in morale from wartime rationing. Deed. It's a philosophical statement from the Constant Strongest Army. It suggests that soldiers should live and work each way as though war effort depends on them. Every day? So there just be tense during pieces of times of war. Of course. It's a bit too much mind over matter idealism for my taste, but it's worth being aware of. <laughs> Serving good food means you have a crappy army. Okay. Serves pretty tasty food in their army. Liberals army is fairly elite. Probably because they are threat of being neighbors of the Empire keeps them tense. It's very true. It does feel pretty conflicting to hear you say that. These things are all about finding balance. Variety is a good spice of life, you know. You are what you eat. <laughs> I could do with further instructions on what to say about my diet. Anyway, there's going to be a military exercise and proving ground in two this afternoon. So after that right now, you have an hour to do what you like. They'll make an announcement half an hour before, so be sure to listen to it whenever it tells you. Understood. When you say whatever we like, does that mean we can tour the fortress? You're welcome to roam around as long as you don't poke your nose into restricted areas. Go and explore. There's plenty you're worth seeing, like in the command center. If you're feeling a little tired from your feral study so far, you're welcome to rest. We should at least get a general overview of the fortress, and we basically now have the chance to go see a whole bunch of stuff. Let's uh, we get a get to go get some stuff, but we need to actually try and see if we can buy the Imperial Chronicle. Can I buy the Imperial Chronicle here? I can't. That's fine. So, we need to try and find the Imperial Chronicle 
a shop. Briefing room is not the one. Can I buy stuff from here? Here we go, this is what we wanted. And then we should get the trance here to buy the last Imperial Chronicle. Not maybe not the last, but certainly one that we need. Insufficient mirror. How annoying. Luckily, we've got a whole bunch of mirror on deck. Uh, let's go ahead and buy that for ourselves. And now we need to basically go around and talk to everyone here. So let us do it in. Let's do it in the order that it's telling me to do it in. So let's first head towards the briefing room, which is in here. We should need to speak to Sarah Valstein. Oh yeah, Tovo gave me a call about what happened in the Graham. Mechanical monsters are heard up. You know anything about them? Let's change to a group that makes them. They go by the name of Orboros. First time we've heard it. Secret society that acts in the shadows across the continent. Indeed. We do not know how many members there are, what they're capable of. Honestly, we don't know much about them at all. What we do know is that they have access to technology more advanced than most cutting edge research institutes being behind several crises threatening to shake the foundations of entire nation states. These are the people who made those monsters? Man, it with my eyes, but it's hard to swallow. There's no denying what we saw out there. Well, you just don't need to come to groups with that just yet. We'll call them mechanical monsters, just like the ones you fought our orgasms. It seems to be an awful lot of them made their way into the black market. Indeed. Sightings around the Empire. I found something here in Arbonia, just in my opinion. Doesn't have any mean that at all. There have been cases we know put archasms into the wild purely to test their abilities. Something to keep in the back of your mind. We certainly should keep that at the back of our mind, of course. So, Orboros, evidently a thing here as well. We'll head towards this guy here in the guest room. You shady bitch. Right, let's speak to you. Speak to Emma. Oh, you taking a rest? Of course. I did take a short walk around everything, but it, this fortress is so imposing, it made me feel faint. I feel you're there. The same person who single-handedly guided us through that castle. Reen? Never mind. There's one thing that's been bugging me lately. Ever since we arrived on the ground, I felt like just out of the corner of my eye. I kept a glance at this small black shadow following us. Ever since we got to the fortress, I haven't seen it. Really? Maybe you're just possessed by something. Yikes, what an unsettling thought. Ah, uh, interesting. I'm still a little bit unsure as to what uh, what Emma's kind of like thought processes are. Let's speak to these two. Trains the army imperial swordsmanship. I feel like a reality of shaking in for me as well. No doubt the things are being applied. Looking forward to it. And then let's speak to Fee. Soldiers here are pretty well trained. Well equipped too. But what you'd expect from the... Uh, you need to put some serious prep if you wanted to top there. Old habits die hard. They certainly do. But that's fine. So. I'm going to head this way. Flight port. Is there anyone here? Oh, wow. Look at this. Looks like the Fortress Airport. There may come a day that we'll find yourself in a military X thing. Look at this, motherfucker. Wow. I'm guessing this is going to come into play at a later point, but maybe not right now. So let's head back down. Let's see what's in this exit here. Ooh. Whole bunch of armored tanks. The horse dead. It's a lot. A lot of tanks does seem pretty staggering to see them all lined up in one place. Undeniably. Speak to Elliot. Looking, not looking forward to this. Never seen military exercise before. It'll be his first time. Take it, have it then. Show me last time he we weren't here. He wants me to join the military, but I think I'll have to be suited for the way he is. The more curious I get, I'm guessing we're going to meet him soon. Not entirely sure how I feel about seeing so many actions lined up like this. Unfortunately, so I'm sure they'll be using them for military exercises. You pitted against older automated things. The older tanks won't stand a chance. I'm 
get a chance to see how competent they truly are. Very true. But wow, wow, we are undeniably pretty goddamn impressive. But yeah, look at this shit. Pretty fucking imposing. But into the garage, we've done. Briefing room, we've done. We'll make our way up. Get to see, speak to Nightheart. See the students who came to the fortress. This is General Walter. It says the di division commander for the 5th Armour Division, which is stationed here. I mean, he doesn't know how strong we are. A bracer is still a bracer. Of course, there's still that ingrained hatred between the two. I just said every box on the stereotypical soldier tech list. Of course, he does. See that you don't get in the way. My god, not, not a fan, the guy. Certainly strict. He is responsible for keeping the IPA's most vital defensive fortification running smoothly. It's very true. Don't try and enter the command center. Okay, we certainly won't. That feels like a big no no. Can't go in there. But there we go. Interesting. Bracer hatred is real. He must be a big old supporter of the Iron Head himself. Because where does this lead to? The motor pool. Freight platform. I don't think it's somewhere that we're going to need to go. We'll have a quick look see anyway. Ah, just a bunch of cars. He gives a fuck. Sorry, just a bunch of trains. He gives a fuck about that tank garage. It's this way, which is the way we've been. So this must be the exit that we must try and find the last two of us. Whoa. Oh, sorry about that, guys. You can hear the dog going off. <laughs> Someone slammed a door. Someone slammed a door. Someone gets angry. This place is undeniably pretty fucking massive. Can't believe the size of this place. Given the uniform, you must be one of student from Thor's. Stay out of the way because we're incredibly busy. Make your way to the corridor over there instead of hanging around here. This isn't exactly where we want to do. We do have to speak to some people, but fuck me, this place is massive. Speak to you, sis. Apart from Zandergate, can I call it military? It's the true face of the Imperial Army. Definition of our oversized posturing to show the commission about what they could do. Pretty goddamn fucking massive. You will be able to see them when it gets uh, where you are now. Will I ever lie to you? Wish I could have gone to the grounds instead of being stuck in small, stupid field study. End up being about who Crossbow belongs to. That is pretty much what it ends up being. As we know, we'll just shake everyone up a bit. Hope things go well. Can we go this way? No, apparently not. That's fine. We're going to do the old speedy walkway here, as we should have one last return to Fortress. And then, is it from here we have to go? This is, of course, where we started. It's locked. We can't go past here. That's fine. Now, we should have just have one more to find. I believe we're only missing Machias and Crow right now. Tank garage. I'm not sure exactly where I'm meant to be.
Wrong way. Metal is where we started. Is there any other exit here? I don't see one. Okay, where the fuck am I meant to be going? <laughs> they do not make it obvious. It says going north of the command area, but that doesn't really give us that much. One sec, I will see you guys when I found them. That literally took two seconds, but here we are. Crazy, it's night and day. Talking about how different places is to Jirai was super lively, but this place could have withdraws from somewhere without easy access to casinos. Respect recently annexation by Arab and but everything fine to me. Our offices, entertainment district. I'm sure seeing that's where we'll end up at a different point. I'm um, happy to be under the Imperial government's control. I wouldn't go that far. One behind the annexation in the first place, he used some pretty forceful tactics to get them to agree. Go straight into the Imperial government's things. This is a pretty complicated issue. you got to admit, it's a pretty complicated issue. You are, you too strong-headed. I think you might be, my friend. I think you might be. But... I'm going to head back into here. The bulletin is to form all portions. The preparations for today's military exercise is now complete. Please assemble the hangar immediately and your transport is standing by. So, the military observation is, we boarded the armor cars and set up for the proving grounds, but I think this is probably a good place to say. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time in Trails of Cold Steel. Peace.